Let's say that we are in the context of an e-commerce application and we have these two entities. We have a book entity and we have a pen entity. And both entities have these three common properties and columns. So we have an ID, we have a name, and we have a price in the book entity, in the book class. And the same happens in pen. We have the price, we have the name, and we have the ID. In order to remove duplicated code and create a hierarchy and a better abstraction, we can create a product class and extend that class from the pen entity and from the book entity. So let's do that. So I'm going to create a new class. This will be an abstract class. So this is product. Report abstract class product. And I'm going to grab these three properties. And I'm going to paste those properties here. I'm going to import the decorators. Okay. And I'm going to remove the properties from here. And now I'm going to extend the product class from my book entity and my pen entity. So this is extends. And this is product. And the same for the pen class. This extends. And this is product. Okay, using this approach, we are going to generate two tables, one for the pen entity and another one for the book entity. So now let's go to our index file. And here I'm going to create basically a new book, a new pen, and I'm going to insert those elements into the database. And we're going to see how the schema and the tables are generated and how the data is populated into the database. So a new book, const, let's say, book one, book, book one dot name, let's say, book, clean code, first edition, book one dot title, Let's say clean code, book one dot author, book Martin, book one dot price, and this is thirty three dollars. And now let's create a new an instance. So this is const and one equals to new pen pen one dot name let's say blue pen pen one dot color equals to blue and pen one dot price let's say two dollars okay and now i'm going to create two repositories const let's say book repository this is connection dot get repository and here we pass the class and in this case is book and here we insert a new book this book repository dot save and we pass the instance of the book book one and the same for the pen const pen repository equals to connection get repository and we pass the pen class here and this is pen repository save and here we pass the instance of the pen so this is pen one and that's it okay now let's 
take a look at the tables. Let's go to the database explorer. Here we have our type ORM database that is empty. We don't have any, any tables here. So now let's run this index file. So this is npm run start. Okay, let's refresh the tables. And here we have two tables. Here we have the book table with the ID, the name, the price, the author, and the title. And then we have the pen table with the ID, the name, the price, and the color. And if we take a look at the data, here we have the book with the name, green code, and the title, green code, I mean, the price, and the author. And the same for the pen. We have the name, that is a blue pen, the price, $2, and the color that is blue. So with concrete table inheritance, we have one table for each class of the hierarchy. Thank mm -hmm. you.